hey guys it's Amara welcome back to my channel love love Lloyd and today I did a tutorial on this look right here yes honey yes so purple isn't one of my favorite colors but when it comes to applying makeup or eyeshadow it is definitely a favorite color of mine because I have really 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 dark brown eyes it's almost borderline black but um when I apply purple to brown it actually it actually enhances the brown of the, your eyes so that is why I did this purple look and I love a purple smoky eye honey who does it but um I did a hot pink look lip I think on camera it's popping up like almost I don't know but it's not coming up hot pink but either which way, I think before I actually step out the door, I am going to change my lip into nude because you guys know that I'm all about this. I'm all about the eyes and if I have a dramatic eye, I definitely want a subtle lip. But to each their own, this look is still fun. But anywho, I don't want to ramble. I hope you guys um, enjoy this video. If you have any questions, leave it below. If you have any requests, leave it below. Um, everything that I used in this video will be in the description box below, as always. And my Instagram name is Love Love Lloyd. Don't forget to rate, comment, like, and subscribe. Yes. And that is pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoy it. And until next time, peace. Bye, guys. Hi guys, so I already primed my face with Milk of Magnesium and I primed my eyes with my Painterly Pink Pot by MAC and now I am just going in with my MAC blending brush and I am using a Jordana shade called Ash Brown which is the number three and I'm using that as my transitioning shade and I'm just blending it in trying to stay mainly within the socket of my eye because for this look I want my eyes to pop out a little bit more as far as the lid I want my lid to come across bigger so I'm just trying to focus more within the lid then I am going in with this Beach Cosmetics Warm Brown it has a reddish undertone which I really really love for this because it is going to make the purple blend in seamlessly I'm using a Coastal Scents crease brush and I'm just blending that in within the crease and the socket is in the socket of my eye as well. And I'm just packing that baby on trying to stay away from the lid. We want to save the lid for the best part. <laughs> so just blend as much as possible. Then I am going in with my Air Spun Translucent Face Powder. And I'm using it as my highlight shade. Do not laugh at me. Or well, as my brow bone shade. You got to learn to improvise. But I actually like the way it came out. Then I'm going back in with my um, MAC blending brush. I think it is 211. And I'm just blending all three colors out. Then I just took a flat synthetic um, brush from Coastal Scents. I sprayed it with MAC Fix Plus. And I grabbed the darkest, deeper deep oh my god deep, deepest richest purple from the bh cosmetic one twin, twin palette and i packed that baby onto my lid so i'm just packing and i'm um, using windshield wiper motions packing and using windshield wiper motions so that's just going to make sure that the eyeshadow adheres to your skin for as well not to your skin but to the primer for as long as possible and yeah pretty much good to go I was watching divorce court that's my show then I'm going back in after packing that eyeshadow on I'm going back in with my blending brush and I'm just blending any harsh edges and then you're going to see that I go back in with the same um, purple eyeshadow and I start packing it onto my lid again just because like I said I want that color the lid to really really pop I want this to be extreme so pack that baby on then after that I am going in with a flat top brush and a black matte eyeshadow and I'm creating almost like a cat eye wing line wing liner almost like a cat eye effect 
and I'm just going to blend that into my um, purple eyeshadow just to deepen it at the edges of the eye. After that, I'm going to blend it in again with my favorite brush, my MAC 211, and the blending, 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 blending. I don't think that may be the number of the brush. Guys, forgive me for giving you wrong information. I'm going to put it in the um, description box below. After that, I am just taking a makeup removing wipe for my eyes, and I am just cleaning up under the eye and making sure I create that sharp edge then I lined my eye then I lined my eye after that I used some concealer just to define the wing liner even more and have it stand out I want it to be prominent I grabbed my Lancome black um, pencil and I lined my bottom waterline then I um, then I buffed it out then after that, I go in with a very deep, deep purple that has shimmers in it as well. And I just smudge that black out with the purple. And it came out really pretty. Purple is a really, really pretty color. And it's a universal color. Literally anyone can pull purple off. But the reason why I chose purple is because... Um, I have really, really dark brown eyes, so I wanted my eyes to stand out today. After that, I applied my foundation, my highlight, and my contour. I set my face with um, my Airspun Translucent Powder. I let it bake for maybe about 10 minutes, and now I am going in and I'm just dusting the excess powder off. I'm grabbing my MAC Skin Finish... MAC... Oh God, what is wrong with me? I can't speak. I'm grabbing that powder and I am just uh, blending everything all together seamlessly. Next, I'm going in with my Baked Milani blush. I really, really love this blush. I had this blush for years. I haven't been using it, but I am applying that with my small stippling brush. But do you guys see the contour? Like just, oh my God, you're going to see it again. You're going to see it again. After that, I'm taking my MAC Fix Plus and my um, Morphe 310 brush, and I am just applying that sweet highlight. Look, oh my God, look at that contour, though. It may be too harsh for some people, but it looks so freaking good to me. Oh my God. And I'm just applying the highlighter to the highest points of my cheekbone, my forehead, the bridge of my nose, my um, upper lip, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh my god, it looks so good. What is a full face beat makeup without highlighter? Nothing. Next, I am using my MAC Fit, um, Fix Plus spray. I am spraying that. And as you guys know, it's going to melt everything all together and give you this seamless, beautiful, flawless look. After that, I am grabbing my Beauty Supply, yes, a Beauty Supply lip gloss called Nana Coco in the color Mysterious, even though there's nothing mysterious about this pink. I am grabbing that color and I'm packing it on. This um, brand make very pigmented lip gloss. That lip gloss was so pigmented. Fixing my hair, fixing my hair, making sure everything is good, and I am done. Bye, guys.